Hello there and welcome back yet to another episode in this short series that we that we have. So, oh no, another trout in about three days it's going to be here. So I've done a little bit of prep work before the episode as well just to keep them uh, nice and short. Don't want to bore you guys with too many details. So uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's just go through a couple of things. So this uh, lake that's just to the, uh, let's just orientate the map again, to the southeast of our settlement. This lake was always kind of like over overfilling and uh, yeah, we had some issues over here. So I decided to put a, another double floodgate in here. We now have a nice and big forest that's growing. Well, we've got some maples growing here. Then we have finally completed the uh, double floodgates over here as well. So same thing, we've uh, had to install four because three were causing a bit of problems for us. Next up, what do we have here? So we are starting to construct another forester with a couple of storages and a lumberjack flag as well with some uh, some trees then as we start moving west let's orient the map once again we have already built a quick dam over here well a few of them actually just to make sure that the water doesn't completely leave this lake when the droughts do hit us and we are i think we've just finished this section here as well so that's fantastic now, you guys, we've got quite a few spare beavers, which is great. They've just really helped us clear out this area over here. And, well, now you can... I think you can rest a little bit, can't you? Same with you. You've got two logs left. One and... All right, here we go. You're paused as well, which leaves us with seven spare beavers. All right, so let's have a look over here. There's been quite a bit of a change in this uh, section here. For that, we're going to have to hide the water... And let's have a look at what we are doing. So a couple of platforms are going in because we would like to clear up as much of this land as possible. I think we should have actually brought the road maybe towards here. Well, we can uh, improve this um, in, in the future. For the time being, roads will have to stay in there. Essentially, yeah, we've got platforms here and then storage is on top of them. We are going to store some, what is it, the uh, chestnuts. Uh, nothing in here. Wheat in this one and wheat flour. So the plan is we'll double stack them for a couple of levels. Well, two to be exact. And then we're going to steal some power from here. We are going to have to have a, a separate uh, network for the grist mills. Yep, they do require a little bit of power. So I think one should be actually enough. Yeah, let's keep you, keep you paused. But uh, what's going on with these guys? Maybe give you a slightly higher priority. Okay, yep, uh, you don't have the access. Which one's complaining? This one. Oh, because the stairs are not done just yet. That's that's okay. Yeah, so essentially we've got a levee over here. Large windmill on top of it. Pass the power through and then what we're going to do, once they've constructed everything, we'll have another, I think, large windmill just over here. And then we'll pass the power over this bridge just like so. I think we should probably... Oh, they're up there. Okay, I see. Um, yeah, access-wise, we should be able to climb up. And then uh, the first level, what we're going to do is... Let's have the crystal mill. This one's going to go here just like so. Now, with the next one, if we want, we could build it right there. But I feel like we may want to have this walk through an act point of access for the future as well. So... Yeah, we'll see. We could switch the door over to that side and then connect it with... Actually, no, the roads are going to go from the bottom. We could close it. But then... Yeah, they still have to... Well, they can climb up. This one can go here. Oh, actually, this could be a much lovelier design. Oh, yeah. I do like this now. Very good that we look through it. So let's grab a couple of platforms from here as well. We can do it this way and swap the door. Okay, voila. That is looking pretty good and it's passing all the power through that we need as well. So, yeah, here's where we are going to be making wheat flour for the time being. No cat tail just yet, unfortunately. Talking about cat tail flour, so that is one of the two plants that needs to be grown inside the water. I think the spatter dog was the, the other one. Oh, yeah, there we go. So my plan for that one is it's a rather expensive one. I hope you remember from the previous episode 
where we talked about potentially turning this into production zone and building more buildings on top of the water. So what I'd like to actually do is, is turn the middle bit into a farm in here. I think we should be able to do this. And we're going to have to box it out just a tiny bit. I mean, if we don't like this idea, I guess we could bring the farms like to this side as well, which might be might be way nicer. I'm not completely sure just yet. I don't want them to waste the, uh, the log, so yeah, let's take those ladies out. But I was thinking to do it over here, farms in the middle. And then, um, yeah, basically they just climb up and bring the resources over here. But as we said, this one looks a bit more level and probably need a little bit less work to be done. So we could turn this area into a farm and then export it onto the main area. Well, something to think about, I guess. All right, moving on. Next update that we have done here. Okay, that's a good one. So I'd like to increase the power production that we here have here. I mean, there's loads already, but... It's good to start preparing as early as possible. So there is a bit of a gap. We are going to have to destroy a couple of those buildings and rearrange things. But that's essentially the plan. Lock it in with the levees, create this little tunnel over here and add a few more water wheels into this system. Hopefully it's not going to slow it down too much, but I guess we'll, we'll see. Because right now, oh yeah, there's a bit more going from this side. Should have done it with the levees, but we can... Uh, rearrange those things pretty pretty quickly and easily I think so you're not needed here are you we do have a few of those decoration trees growing already which is great uh, let's just make sure that oh yeah that's all cancelled now so yeah we built the two additional builder huts as well because we had so many spare beavers and they have been very helpful in trying to push further and getting those really far distant construction projects done. Our next plan over here, I think they have done a little bit already, isn't it? Oh yeah, just a little bit. Uh, next plan is to try and steal a bit of bit of metal from here. Let's have a look. Can we bring it? Okay, roads over there. And I'm guessing we'll have to give it a slightly higher priority just to make sure it gets done in time. Here comes the beaver army. Trees will be devoured. And we can finally connect it up. And um, let's see. Power, metal, 250 points, which is quite a lot. But hey, we can do two of them here. Maybe three. And yeah, that should be should be pretty good. I mean, with uh, this one here, I don't think we're going to keep it. We might as well just destroy it and uh, use all the, the metal for our future pr production. Now... Um, to build one of those smelters, oh yeah, we are going to need a lot of scrap metal. Let's unlock you as well. And to produce metal, I think it would be smart. Where are we? Oh yeah, we should already bring it over there, but all of our power... Well, let's see. Let's see what happens in the future with all the power production. Most likely going to have to have some over here as well. Alright, so there we go. We got our windmills up and running. Barely had enough gears for completing everything, but um, yeah, all three grist mills as well. But I think we only need one right now, and we don't have too many spare beavers anyway. So yeah, gotta see where all of them have disappeared into. Might have to just pause. I think one of the wrong button. Let's have a look. One of the construction workshops or the builders' huts. I mean, since there aren't that many big projects right now. We are also gathering some scrap metal. You guys are full. Okay, so there's our two spare beavers. Actually, let's open you as well. And uh, <laughs> we do need access over here, so you shall be removed for a second. We can let them construct half those things. But I don't think they'll be able to go both sides, are they? No. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to give them a little bit of access. I don't want them to construct all this just yet. Let's uh, think about it for a second. So just to future-proof ourselves, I think we might, if it works out, we might make it a little bit longer. So that's over there. This is probably going to go like so, because that's where we are going to have some more, more buildings. Actually, never mind, we don't need this road just yet. And then we can bring 
you guys over just like so. I think we do need a staircase as well, so you guys can just climb down here and build everything else. Okay. Yep. And as soon as this is done, I think that's where we did want to have a levy, didn't we? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's uh, direct everything through here. Right now we're not deleting this section just yet because I want them to have access to as many, many areas as possible. I mean, we could give you a little bit higher priority. Okay, there you go. And yeah, logs, um, they are starting to get or uh, decrease quite uh, quite quickly. Let's have a look what's happening over here. So they've devoured this forest pretty quickly, actually. All right, so uh, let's just keep planting more of those oak trees around the area. Probably still need the access, or do we? We could go straight and have some... <laughs> Actually, right now, I think we need oaks a little bit more than we need the roads. In the future, we can always add some additional routes over here by deleting or destroying the trees. Okay, so... Um, Wait a second, are these not marked to be harvested? Okay, here we go. And that should be fine over there. So, talking about access and changing roads around, we have a similar idea here as well, where I'd like to get rid of this road and bring the road behind the grist mills. So in the future, it's just gonna run through the um, housing, not the housing, but the sort of production area over here. So um, I think the next problem that we have is we are going to have to make some additional space uh, by removing this warehouse. But, uh, oh yeah, you are ready as well. I'm just thinking this might be a slightly more direct route that we can give them. Okay, now um, these droughts are not very long, but I think in the future we'd like to start storing some more water as well. So probably on the opposite side, that's where we want to put some additional water pumps. But for the time being, I think we're okay. It's the food, really, that's struggling to keep up with everything, but that's because we don't have the fertile or enough of fertile lands. So it seems our water wheel expansion is uh, starting to come along pretty nicely as well. I boss these guys uh, for the time being, just to make sure that no beaver gets stuck over here. I think this one's good to go. You're pretty much good to go now as well. And just, yeah, let's let the beavers finish the levees and then we can just build it in sections. Now, let's have a look. Since we've changed the access a little bit for the water, it seems... Oh, yeah, that's uh, definitely increased or evened out the power production. This has gone up to 160 now. That used to be uh, around 39 usually. Now it's up to 112 or 20. Ooh, this one's almost 200. And yeah, it seems to be working nicely. Let's see what happens once uh, we get the last couple water wheels in here as well. And oh yeah, okay. We've got some problems with our log, log production or supply. Let's open another lumber check just to help us cut down those logs extra fast. What about you guys over here? Uh, I don't think we have to produce what is it maple syrup just yet because we do have let me just double check oh yeah we've got this area here as well so since we are in a bit of a need right now all this is now our gutting zone okay cool at the top here as well seems like all the trees are up and running which is lovely now you do have the range all the way over there. Okay, so how about you got us a few more a few more trees? And we'll just expand the the oak tree empire. Now, next thing when we are improving the food, it has dropped quite a bit right now. It seems we have quite a bit of chestnuts. Yet we don't have a way to cook them up just yet. Can we do some platforms over here? Okay, lovely, and we could probably do a couple on this side as well, but let's uh, let's have a look first. Right, so with the chestnuts, we go to the food tab. I think they were done in the grill, weren't they? Oh yeah, here we go. One chestnut turns into two grilled chestnuts. I mean, I guess for the... Oh no, this 
warehouse he's gonna have to go. Yeah, I think our expansion is gonna be pretty, uh, pretty expensive here. So if we grab... Oh, wow. Okay. Yep, that is the road that's gonna go through. You don't seem to be connected, are you? Okay, so now we're fine. Do you have to go up a level as well? Doesn't look like it. It was only on this side where we have to climb all the way up here. Okay, and you seem to be pretty happy as well, so that's great. Now, that is still going to be a, a road in the future, I think. Yep, that's going to go through, maybe connect with the main road there. And this means we can build right over here. But we probably need a few more storages as well. I think for the time being, let's try and save uh, save some planks. I know it's not really saving what we're what we're doing over here, but I don't want to take up this precious land. And building up here seems to be a bit painful as well. So yeah, we can already start building the wave. I think it's gonna remain in the longer term future. Now another thing we probably need here. As you can see, the wind's now dead, so it would be lovely to have some batteries. But for that, we're going to need some metal. Oh yeah, that is something we forgot to check in. And we've got 60 scrap metal. You are full already, so you can go. A lot of jobs that are open. Let's give you the lowest of priorities. Go and work elsewhere. And now let's have a, another look. I think, yeah, food first, since we're... Less than 200 food, which isn't great at all. It is a little bit scary, if I'm completely honest. Alright, let's try and get the wheat growing a little bit quicker by building another beehive. Okay, and I think this is where... Oh yeah, we could have done the stairs down in here, actually. Well, I guess we can rearrange this stuff in the future, but for the time being, let's um, put a road here. Okay. Oh yeah, we do have to climb up, don't we? Um, <laughs> let's have a look. So, with the bakeries... I don't know how many storages we want in here. But, fortunately bakeries don't need power. I'm certain they still pass it through. But I don't think we need to build a lot of buildings here that do need power. So, for the time being... I think we can leave it pretty uh, pretty simple. Let's just do it this way and connect you up. I mean, <laughs> it would be nice if it did climb up from here. But okay, we've got ladders over here as well, so we should be A-OK. -okay. okay, I think we've figured it out. What we want to do here is let's remove that. And for the current design, it would be nice if they can just exit directly from here and then climb straight up. Now for the future to climb uh, straight down, what we can do is let's remove... I always click the wrong button, okay. Right, here we go. Grab the stairs, the ladder. I think this is where they could just climb down. I mean, it might be better... Hmm. No, they should have different locations, so... So yeah, let's uh, have this as one of them. Okay. Grab the road as well, connect everything up again. And I think we are pretty good around this area. Let's pause this for the time being since it's not since it's not the most important part. And um, there we go. What is a bit troubling is that we have seven jobs where we need workers. Ooh, okay, yeah, you guys are pretty much empty already. How's the rest of it going? Food is still dropping. Okay, we need that that going straight away. And um, another one, well, we have the space right now, so why don't we do it? Yep, that's great. We'll connect you up. This one here, highest priority. Same for this. Grilled chestnuts, there we go. Yeah, let's get some food as quick as we can, please. Uh, you are going to make some bread... And we do need another bakery here as well to start making, what is it, the um, the maple pastries. Oh yeah, that's the one. 
Okay, it looks or the blanks are looking a-okay. Here we go. Another trout is arriving in about three days. Water, not so worried. Food, very worried, it seems. Uh, things are and things are not so good. Yep, so uh, another warehouse is done. This can be for grilled chestnuts. Store it all in here. And let's have a look at our production. So this one's full. That's potatoes. Carrots were empty. Grilled potatoes surprisingly empty as well. What we are going to do now, I think it's pretty clear. We're just going to keep building those platforms here. Try and fill this space with warehouses and all of our production lines so that we could expand our farms a little little further just a quick minor improvement here as well i've noticed that the beavers are running pretty long distances to get what they what they need before going to bed yeah and totally forgot about that so instead of keeping our ready-made products in the production zone we are now going to start and try and <laughs> bring them closer to the the living quarter so they no longer have to run all the way there come back drink some water and then go and uh, have some fun over there now our what is it well-being isn't looking the best so that's something we are gonna have to improve um, very very soon as well i was thinking one of the easiest things we could probably do around here since there is a lot of power we could do where is it <laughs> here we go the printing press oh but you need metal never mind i think metal it is then probably the next most important thing that we do have to build now question is where everything is pretty busy and connecting with power well i guess this one might not be too bad we could yeah offshoot from here bring it down and build it sideways i guess okay well look at that be your your beavers are happier than ever you have reached a new well-being high score up to 16 we are which is fantastic right so can uh, someone quickly bring the logs for the the power shaft, the T-junction, that's almost done, just need one more log. Okay, there we go, highest priority for this, and after the, after the high power shaft is done, we can finally start making some metal. Do we have enough power? Oh, just about. Ah, oh, that's because we have no wind right now. Okay, so we have given it some time and uh, constructed a couple of additional things here as well. We've got a storage here and a new bakery i've also noticed that um, even though we have a couple of beehives here the wheat is still you know not enough so i thought okay why don't we just do another it says efficient farmhouse here but who knows how efficient it actually is but we do have another farmhouse here with uh, lots of wheat growing on those hills let me hide the the ui as well might be a little bit too dark i think the sun is okay it's coming up now Yep, as you can see, pretty uh, pretty interesting location over here to, to grow the wheat. And I think, yep, the second beehive just went online as well. So, there we go. What are you guys doing? Hold on a second. What's happening? Why are you... Hmm. Is the access... I guess the access is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Yeah, let's do another staircase over here. Or a ladder. And then maybe we can plant even more wheat on these hills. Okay, so um, high priority. Let's get some builders over here real quick. And to be honest, I'm quite liking how this farming area is turning out to be. Yeah, it's lovely how they can just walk underneath. We've got the power wires uh, going across over their heads. And then uh, eventually, yep, yeah, although it's not the nicest over here. Let's just hide it with the water. I think this is going to be pretty interesting as well. In the future, what we could do, if we... Or when we increase our log production, we could do those levees here and use the... What are they called again? I think we had some... Oh yeah, side platforms. We could build these ones instead. They are going to take quite a lot of metal. So, yeah, we are producing a little bit already. We've got 13 in the storage, so that means you are full. And um, what do we need it for? I think we wanted to do some books, didn't we? Oh yeah, that was probably one of the first things we'd like to do. Because now we could turn a paper into books and uh, further increase their well-being which has you know 16 not a bad not a bad start at all wait a second paper mill oh yeah we got that one 30 metal though okay so we might not be able to build it in this episode but that's okay we can always harvest some more i think the next one 
yeah, I'm gonna let the game run for a little bit, build up some uh, a few of those logs. And then I think we do have to build to this uh, underground mine over here. Build a levee wall around it, let the beavers go to work by <laughs> getting some more uh, scrap metal from there. This reminds me, once they start working there, I think that this is where we need to go into the bots as well, isn't it? Just to make things a little bit more efficient. Let's have a look, where are you guys? Oh, under science. Bot assembler, factory, refinery, hmm, these are the interesting things. But until we get the bots, I think um, we should probably do a healer. That takes fine metal, oh yeah, here we go. And this healer could work probably around this area isn't too bad. We just don't have the space because of those roads a little, a little bit funky. Here, however, this could be interesting as well. You get the roads come across. Okay, well, let's uh, figure this layout over here because the, the mountains are a little bit in our way. But with the rest, though, I think we have a, yeah, pretty, a pretty good episode so far. We've certainly increased our power production over here. And besides that, it seems our population started to go up again as well. Then beaver babies. Oh boy, we um, did quickly build another triple lodge over here to house all those extra beavers. 14 babies now. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much, but uh, yeah, our food numbers have skyrocketed through the roof as well. Oh, finally, we have this road. So this means pretty much get rid of this one here. Let's have a quick test. Yep, there you go. Look at that. And now we can have more space to grow some more crops in here. This is a lovely... Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Okay, not yet. Maybe just not yet. It seems we have not cleared out the warehouse. And now I think we should be fine. Let's try it one more time. Okay, here we go. Everything seems to be functional. Except this grist mill because we don't have power. Talking about power. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gravity batteries. This means more metal. Yep, I think our next goal is going to be getting into this underground mine and improving our metal production. But in the meanwhile, thank you so much for watching this episode. Hope you had some fun as well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.